I'm getting high off of this hemp bread. Look at all this bread! Last time it stacked better. This is just, wow. Some of it's awful, some of it's bland, some of it's just normal. I'm not that good at cooking, apparently. Alright, well, just eat that and just eat the awful stuff first. Get that out of the way. Ugh. Oh, that tastes terrible, but it's food. Oops. I think I just tried to drink a something. Tried to drink bread. Anyway, um, and then I drank water. Whatever. <clears throat> we have a little bit more grain left, or flour left in this bag. So, there it goes. We're going to use the tub and the seasoning. I don't know if the seasoning actually improves the flavor, although it might, might have something to do with the kind of seasoning. You can't just throw any old seasoning in, in a recipe and, help it, and expect it to work. Um, Oh, let's see, rye flatbreads. I think the reason I got so many stacks of these is because some of it's rye and some of it's barley. Now, I bet the stuff's done here. Uh, let's see. Yep. And uh, we will start the next phase. Of tanning. Oh, wait, wait. No, no. I need a, uh, a log. You're not a sage. No, you're not a sage. <coughs> Let's see. I'm going to go look for a log. We're going to need more bread, by the way. Just, we're not nearly done with this. Um, need a lot more. In fact, I could probably cook the whole thing, but... Her, nope, can't carry that, so... Actually, I don't think I need water for this face, so I'm just going to stand out here in the middle of the rain and, and just do this, because, you know, I've got plenty of beers. It's a squirrel skin, so it's not like it'll take that long. See? If it were like an elk skin, then I'd be here all night. Alright, done. Now, is there anything I need to make with this fur? I don't think so. So I can sell it. For more, more grains. Yay. Well, hey, it's food. You can't complain about that. You know. In a world where it's possible to... In a world where it's possible to starve. Uh, no, in a world where it's possible to starve on any given day, you cannot uh, argue with food. Let's, uh, let's see, rye or barley. I like to mix it up a bit, although that's generally not very good for, uh, you know, uh, storage efficiency, because uh, <coughs> uh, you can only stack uh, objects of the same type and uh, quality and such, but I think it really matters that much. Uh, let's see, how would you like a fur? Oh, fur. Uh, really? Well, it's perfectly serviceable fur. I know it's not much, but no, oh, bugger it all. Well, how about that? <clears throat> no, no, that's not it. That's not enough. Want a javelin? I can make more of these. You know, I did my best. Oh, fine. No. I gotta get better at making shit. Um, anyhow. You know, these villagers keep setting this, uh, keep uh, firing up this uh, this oven here, so, uh, or, yeah, it's an oven, you know, it's a, a fireplace, whatever. So I really didn't even need to bring that firewood, because they're just doing it for me. 
which is one of the advantages. You know, I've been carrying around this bucket. People, <laughs> people can't can't actually have a sauna in here because I'm carrying their bucket around, bucket of water. Well, I need it though. I need to cook. I don't have my own oven yet. I'm an escaped slave. I'm, you know, it's lucky to survive. Can't, can't, you know, fault me for that. Anyway, um. <clears throat> It doesn't seem like they, uh, why did I try to harvest? It, it doesn't seem like they mind a whole lot, so we'll be, we'll be fine. We'll be fine, sure. Alright. So we're going to grind up some grains, we need to sleep. There we go. Ah, there we go. New day. Need to eat. Squirrel cut. Start. And, uh, any more awful bread? Let's just get that out of the way. Okay. Good to go. Drink the water. Well, now I've got this fur that nobody wants to buy, so maybe I can do something with it. Um, let's see actually. Now I could make bandages out of it, I could make cords out of it. Cords are useful, but I don't need them right now, so there's not much point. I should just carry the furs around. I'll, I'll store them when I get back to camp. <coughs> uh, let's see here. Oh right, I think what I should do is just grind up more of this uh, grain. And we'll put it in the can I add it? Because it's not full yet, so I'll just add it to that to that bag. There we go. Now we'll eat the smallest stacks first. That frees up more room for more stacks. Okay, that one and that one. Now, let's see, this is a small stack. Okay, um, that's bland, yes, it's very, very bland. I think we, I think we could put a little bit more into this bag, so I'm going to try grinding, I'm just going to, oh, oh, looks like I, I ended up, alright, well I can't put rye grains into a bag of barley flour because it doesn't mix items of different types. I think if I tried it, it would dump the barley flour all over the ground. And we don't want to do that, because that's that's food. <laughs> so, right, we don't want to do that. So we'll just, we'll just make what we've got here, cook this up. Uh, we don't have seasoning, so we'll just go with that. Now, you may notice that although that fireplace isn't burning, I'm able to use it as a fire because it's a fireplace. If it has the remnants of a fire in it, it's hot enough to cook on. In most cases. Uh, it's not always the case, but with fireplaces, you, you, basically, the idea is that you get more out of a fireplace than you can from just a fire. Of course, in this case, the villagers keep, uh, keep firing it up for me, so I don't even have to really worry about keeping the fire going, because they're just doing it for me very efficient and uh, I don't know how proper it is to use a sauna for cooking I mean let's face it I'm not Finnish um, my ancestors were Danish but I'm you know <laughs> I live in the modern world not the uh, medieval one so I don't know everything about these cultures but anyway I don't know how proper it is but it it works so I am first and foremost a gamer, so I do what works. And it's time to eat. Let's see, we got small stacks. This is a small stack. And finish that off. That's a small stack. Okay. 
as you notice I'm actually eating a lot of the uh, a lot of the bread as I'm cooking it so it takes so long to actually make bread that you do end up eating a certain amount of what you make before you're even done but you know that's just the way it is uh, you have to keep at it for quite a while in order to get enough to you know live on for a, a particular length of time however long you you want to you know live off of it so it really depends on how much food you actually need and uh, how long you're willing to spend there making it because it takes time uh, bread is one of the slowest ways to keep yourself fed but it works. I mean, when you don't have many options, you do what you, you know, what what you have to. It works. The simple, simple fact of the matter is, it works. It's got to be pretty, you know, abysmal having to. Uh, just live off of bread too, but hey, I had that squirrel the other day, so that was good. You know, that was some meat. Um, I'm, I'm gonna fill up this bowl because it's getting, it's almost out. If I could fill a bag with water, a bag of water would be interesting. Uh, but I need it because I might have to use it to. Uh, I might have to use it uh, to store more grains. Um, actually, you know, I should just do that now. Because I got this bag of grain here, and this empty bag here. So I'll just make some rye flour. Do I have anything? Okay. And we'll, we'll just make some more grains uh, let's see bag of rye flour mm-hmm let's see you get something to eat um, and I think I've got enough room left in that yes I do uh, let's see smallest stack is this one And finish that off. <sighs> Grind. Bag of rye grains. Into the bag of rye flour. And there we go. Now all of our grains have been converted to flour. So we can continue cooking. I've literally spent, I think half a week cooking by now so well cooking and basically making bread <laughs> yeah well, that's fine I mean I could have spent a week fishing too with mixed results sometimes that works really well sometimes not so much Fishing is very chancy. Well, I mean, it is when you're fishing with spears. Um, obviously, it's better to fish with a fishing pole or even a net, but I don't have a net. These guys look like sages, but he's just old, so he kind of looks like a sage. It's true, though old men and sages do tend to look fairly similar. You can tell the difference though if you know what to look for. If I could find a place where they sell fishing nets I would buy one because they're very good for fishing. You can catch multiple fish at the same time instead of just one at a time like with spear fishing or uh, using a fishing rod which is very good <laughs> you know 
for food. But I haven't found anyone that sells those things yet, so... <sighs> so, we'll just have to keep waiting. I should just be able to repeat, yes. I'm gonna finish off this bag. And then I think that'll be it for this week. Of cooking. And then we'll head back to the trap fence. Well, done with that bag. It's almost empty. I've got all these empty bags now. I should probably eat too. Alright, yeah, that bag is empty. I've got one bag of flour left, so... There we go. Worked up a nice hunger cooking bread, and then I sated that hunger with bread. Yeah, it's really quite um, full circle, I guess. Uh, anyway, just sleep here. Oh, I should probably get something to drink. Look at that. I'm very thirsty. Drink uh, water. Water, water. I'll just fill it up again. It's fine. Uh, let's see. Don't want to eat the, fl the bag because that's just flour in there. And finish that off. Alright. Well, that's a bunch of bread. Did I get over everything? Yeah, okay. Uh, I'm going to go fill up their bucket before I take off because it's the least I can do. Fill this bucket. Actually, the least I could do was just take off with the bucket, but. <laughs> Eh, yeah, we're not going to do that. Alright, guys. Now that your sauna smells like fresh baked bread, I'm going to go and uh, leave you to it. And there's your bucket back. You can keep the firewood because, you know, I'll probably be back. Uh, let's see. We will equip the shovel and head out. Oop. It's tempting to harvest hemp from those. Uh... Anyway, I should try to uh, see if I can find some way to make my own hemp. I think it would be very useful. I mean, you can make stuff out of it. It's not just, you know, food and, you know, recreational. Uh, Try to navigate these currents here. Hmm. Okay. Don't remember it quite being that hard to get across this area of water. I need a, a more proper paddle, of course, but you know, I'm just usually a sh shovel right now. But oh, it's fine. It works. It, just a little annoying. Uh, let's see. Where's my camp? getting close to it. Right, it's over here. Pick up that. Drop it. And across here. Pick that up. Okay, let's check the traps just to make sure. Uh, see if anything's got caught in them. Nope. Hmm. Well, I guess it's fine. Eh. Uh, I thought it looked a little odd, but I guess not. Let's check the other side. There aren't any major migrations going on right now, so I don't expect this trap fence to have uh, caught anything. But sometimes they do. They catch the occasional lone wolf. Or, well, not, not literally a wolf, but I mean a lone animal. Um, sometimes. I guess they could catch a wolf. Um... I don't know about a bear. I think a bear would be able to get out of a, a, a pit trap. And bears are pretty big. You know. 
he'd probably get pretty badly injured, you know, falling into a pit of spikes, but I, I think he'd probably survive. Well, I guess it depends on the bear, though. Okay, no, these aren't harvestable. I wonder if there is anything in the forest that's, that I can, you know, forage. I should, I should actually check that. Let's see, what's the skill? Forage, forage... Is that not a skill anymore? <laughs> Herb lore, maybe that's it. Uh, no, wait, wait, what? Hold on. Is that a new skill? Or is it different? I guess I'd have to actually pick something and then use it. Uh, where's forage? I seem to remember foraging being a... Uh, being a skill, but they may have changed it. Mm, agriculture? No. I think I think they they removed it. You, what you could do in in a past version of this game was, you could uh, use foraging. Uh, it was an actual skill, forage skill. You just activate it on the main map, and it would tell you if there was anything that you could harvest in the area. I guess it's changed though. Uh, it's probably more realistic now than than that. You know, than the way that it used to work. Well, we don't need to be here, so I'm going to grab this, these shiny mine. I wonder, hey, wait a minute, let me try something here. Uh, herb lore, herb lore on the shiny mushrooms, even though they're spoiled. You do not recognize it. Okay. I didn't think so. It's firewood. Oh. Look at that. Check it out. There's, uh, there's, uh, hang on, what is it? Tracking, tracking. What is this? Reindeer tracks. Very fresh. Uh, reindeer just went through here. And he went around my trap. Well, that trap, anyway. Let's check the other side of the trap fence. See, I knew this was a good area. Um, so he didn't get caught in that one. He just went the other way around. If I had finished this trap fence, he would have gotten caught. Oh, whoa, whoa, look at that, look at that, look. Looks like one of them did. A reindeer herd must have mi migrated through this area, and this reindeer, part of the herd, got caught in this trap. Well, we got food then. We <laughs> we got a lot of food now. Um. Okay. We'll drop these furs here on my fur pile. Those don't need to be processed. They're good to go. Ah. <sighs> yes, my camp. Everything's here. See, I've, I've put my uh, winter clothes on the uh, in the shelter uh, as a kind of bedding. I think that's probably what they used to do back in those days. Uh, they just used their winter clothing as as uh, as bedding materials. All right, uh, where's my? Uh, I don't have a firewood pile. All right, well I do now. <laughs> firewood pile, spoiled mushrooms, it's firewood probably actually need some proper firewood now. Um, well, let's see. What am I doing? I need to, uh, let's see, I need a food pile. So, drop these bread here. What would be more efficient, actually? I'm going to put my raft over here and uh, shovel with it. Ooh, wait, I might need to shovel because I've still got a trap fence to make. Um, what would probably be more efficient is a cellar, but I won't really need that uh, until winter because during the summer there's usually plenty of food available and we're coming up on summer. I would say it's, yeah. Or it, it'll summer technically starts in June, so uh, we're still in spring now. But around summer, there's usually plenty of food that you can just harvest, and then towards autumn, of course, uh, then that's when lots of stuff is is harvestable. Okay, so uh, I don't need to carry around these bags. Um, I'm just gonna 
start making random piles of crap because yeah, you know, I don't need to be carrying around all that crap. Um, we'll go ahead and process this corpse. Uh, let's see, we want to skin the animal. And, you know, cut it up, get the meat. We probably need to head back to the village, <laughs> even though we just came from there. Uh, but we do, let's trapping our, uh, let's see, reset. Wait, what? Trap is in use. Uh huh. I'm trying to reset it. Wait, what? Did I? What am I doing? Uh. Yes, I said reset. That's how it's supposed to work, right? Reset. Hmm. Uh, hang on a minute. <laughs> uh, am I doing something? I think I'm doing something wrong, but I can't be sure. Eat the barley flatbread. Do I have a... I don't have a beater bench here for processing. Um, hmm. uh, for processing hides. <coughs> We're going to ha head into town, actually, uh, to sell this stuff. Uh, the meat, anyway. I'll I'll sell I'll cook some of it, uh, and then I'll sell the rest of it for grain. I know, I know, it's grain. It's like uh, not the best thing to eat, but it does keep forever. So yeah, it's one of those things. There aren't any logs sitting around here that I can use. I'll just climb over this fence. See if there's any on this side. I could cut down a tree. Probably the thing to do in this case. Alright. Oh, I should drop. Hmm. Alright. I should drop these rocks or stones because I use those for. Well, I also need to make more javelins. Um, okay. And where are these things in the water anyway? Nice grasses. Can't harvest them yet. Uh, let's see, we don't need the rocks. Well, I'll just drop those here. Could I need another javelin at some point? Um, alright. If I cut this tree down, where is it? There it goes. Yeah, that'll work. I only I only do that when I uh, when I have to, but it's fine. I don't like cutting down trees more than I need to because uh, I mean there's really no point in it, and it's usually faster to just find a tree that's already fallen down because they're all over the place. It's just that in this case there really wasn't anything close, so. Yeah, I should probably eat. So, uh, let's go ahead and cook up. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna burn all these things because uh, might as well. Probably need to in order. No, there's not enough there. Wow. Okay. Um, make this quick. these slender trunks as uh, firewood. Put one there. Move to this side. I know it's raining, but that shouldn't make it hard, too much harder to... There we go. 